Hey YouTubers and unicorns, what I'm going to show you today is how much power draw you can expect from a pellet heater because they do have fans and igniter to get started so they need to be plugged in as you can see so I'm going to show you sort of the, the consumption you can expect from that and also just what kind of heat these uh, little beauties do pump out because some people think that um, they don't heat very well so we're just going to see how it goes. So what I'll do is just gonna switch it on. As you can see it's 14 degrees in here. Yeah, so it's gone into ignition phase as you can see and I've got a little watt meter over here on the wall. Hopefully you can see it. So it's saying at the moment here we go that it's pulling 325 watts and obviously most of that is for the igniter what we'll do is I'll I'll let it uh, start up but um, I'll let it start up and it'll give you an idea of, of sort of what you can expect power wise at the moment so it's pulling about 320 watts we'll just see how long that takes so it's been a couple of minutes it's still in the ignition phase but you can see we got smoke there now, so I'm, I'm expecting a, something to get started very shortly. There we go, and then it'll still be, you can see it says ignite, so it's still in the ignite phase. And we come over here, so it's still putting 320 watts or whatever. But you can see that fire is now burning away. And we'll just let that run for a little bit. So now you're looking at probably no more than um, five minutes or so, less than 10 minutes before it got going. It's uh, out of the ignition phase now. So you can see there that it just says heating. So the fan to heat the room is on. And when we come over here, hopefully you can see that it's now pulling sort of 45, to 60 something watts just going up and down so you're looking at about 300 watts roughly for five or so minutes and then once it kicks on and it's it's going the fans switch on and it's pulling about you know 50 watts roughly so very little power consumption it's really the only first five minutes and you know that's 300 watts that'd be per hour so you're looking at you know at the most it'd be 10 minutes of that so it's very little power and then then it's the fans are just doing about 50 watts roughly an hour so really light on the power consumption yeah you could run these off batteries if you knew what you were doing but what we'll do is we'll let it run and then we'll see what sort of heat is coming out of the uh, heat exchanger here. Right, so it's probably been running for about 15 or 20 minutes. You can see hopefully now that this temp here has got up to 19. Fire is still burning away, it's basically on medium. So heat wise, you can see there that the air coming out or that heat exchanger in there, you're looking at anywhere from 100 to 140, 150, and obviously this is on the, on the grills here when you actually go inside. You can see the heat exchanger part, 163. I think one of them was 170, 172. So they definitely pump out the heat. And the beautiful thing is that, unlike a wood heater on the top here, 
it's only 44 degrees. When you go back, drops off. And the sides here, same thing, you're looking at about 40 as you go back. Obviously, just down there below the door is only 25. Now, of course, inside, you know, you're looking very hot. But you're looking, heat exchanges are 130 to 180 degrees. But the actual rest of the machine is obviously very cool. 40, 30 to 50 degrees, unlike a wood heater, which is going to burn your hands instantly. So, very good. You're looking at start up 300 watts for five minutes or so. And then if we come over and you can see that it's still pulling in roughly 49 to 68 watts, 72 watts there, but 50 to 60 watts once it's going. But they definitely crank out the heat. And this is a very poorly, this is just an uninsulated room. It's up to 19 degrees and I've got it running on, on medium here. Alright guys, until next time, thanks for watching.